Euglena is a microscopic protozoa which is found in fresh water as well as salty water. It is autotrope in daylight but in a dark it becomes heterotrope. It is usually studied as a plant as well as animal. The species of Euglena which is commonly used for study is Euglena verdis. Today we are discuss about Euglena verdis. So before we do that I suggested you to hit the bell icon to get notified for every new videos. Also you can suggest some interesting topic in the comment box. So let's move on to the today's topic. The word Euglena verdis comes from Greek word eu which means true, glean which means eyeball and the verdis which means green. Systematic position phylum protoza class phytomastigophora order Euglenida genus Euglena species verdis. Euglena verdis is a microscopic organism measuring about 60 micron. Body is elongated and spindle in shape. Body is covered with a plasma membrane called pellicle. It is very flexible which is enough for movement. Euglena verdis moves in two different kinds, flagellar and euglenoid. Let's have a look on flagellar movement. During the movement, the flagellum is directed obliquely backwards to the stigma. It undergoes spiral undulations with waves which transmitted from the base to the tip, causing its beating on sideways lashing. The flagellum beats on an average at the 12 beats per second. The beating of flagellum drives water backward and induces the whole body to move forward. Let's have a look on euglenoid movement. In this movement, the pellicle which possesses considerable flexibility that enables euglena to perform peristatic movement. The activity brings about worm-like wrinklings movement. Nutrition As we all know that euglena verdis is autotroph as well as heterotroph. In autotroph, in the sunlight they prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. In heterotroph, it loses its autotroph character and they become pale or white in color and they depend on dead or decaying substances. Reproduction It reproduces only by asexual reproduction and there is no evidence of sexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, they reproduce by binary and multiple fission. You already know about this fission. If not, let's have a quick look on that. In binary, the body divides into two daughter individuals in which nucleus also divides into two by mitosis and the daughter individuals start growing into adult. In multiple fission, the nucleus divides itself into many more nuclei, which becomes core of many daughter cells contains the cyst. As the cyst break, the daughter cell are escaped to grow into adult euglena. Thank you.